Hi Cancer, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we're doing a new thing. This is called a weekly update. Instead of doing two huge readings every month because you know the energy takes time to change and play out in our lives and I just get tired of doing the same old readings over and over and over again. So what I'm going to start doing is one big monthly reading and then we're going to do weekly updates every week um, thereafter. So this is your weekly update. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. At the end of this video, I'm going to give a spiel. So if you'd like to hang around for that, that's great. If not, that's okay too. All right, so you enter into this reading with temperance, right? Temperance is about your purpose, right? So you enter into this reading contemplating your purpose in life. With the Ten of Pentacles, you are contemplating the, 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 the establishment of your life, your future, right? You're, you're contemplating your future. You're contemplating the purpose of your future. Judgment comes in and says that you've made a very, very big decision in your life, a decision that changes the trajectory of the direction in your life, right? You used to be one way, now you're going to be another way. This decision is to cut out some form of commitment in your life. The High Priestess comes in, and yes, this card is about intuition and your subconscious mind sitting down with spirit, right? On the flip side, this card is about withdrawal. So this is telling me that with the Queen of Swords, you're cutting out Hierophant, commitment, high priestess, withdrawing the devil from a toxic um, relationship in your life. So you are cutting out and withdrawing from some kind of commitment in your life that was toxic. High priestess, I just want to throw in there is about secrets as well. So, you know, you may have found out some kind of a secret or something, but nevertheless, you are cutting out some kind of toxicity, some kind of toxic commitment in your life. The Prince of Pentacles says that you are beginning to plan for your future, right? You're taking inventory, you're looking around, you're trying to see where it is you're going to go and what it is that you're going to do. You're planning for your future. The Queen of Pentacles reiterates this, right? The Queen of Pentacles is all about home, hearth, security. It's where you feel safe to lay your head at the end of the day. Your home, right? So you're planning for your future. Queen of Pentacles reiterates, you know, your, your home life. You're planning it. The Four of Wands. Yes, this card is most definitely about harmony in your home and in your relationships. But it's also about um, a transition, right? So you, you're transitioning from this toxic type of situation right there, that toxic commitment, planning for your future, thinking about thinking about your future, planning for your future, your home, right? You're transitioning. The world card comes in and says that there's been a completion of a cycle in your life. You are closing one chapter and you are beginning a new chapter with the world card. There's been a, an, an integration of all of the thoughts and emotions that went along with the cutting of a commitment in a toxic relationship, withdrawing, right? You've integrated all that. You're processing it and you're about to, to step off into a brand new chapter of your life. The Four of Cups comes in and tells me that you're contemplating and reevaluating the Nine of Cups, everything that makes you happy. What are your wishes? What brings you comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life? right? Because that's, that's what you're planning right here. That's what you're thinking about. It's the transition. It's the new chapter. What is it that brings you comfort, happiness, and satisfaction? What are the wishes that you have for your life, right? Justice comes in. Justice only appears when there's been an injustice, right? This is fairness, truth, cause and effect, right? What's the cause? The cause is you cutting out this toxic commitment in your life. What's the effect? The freedom to plan your life and carry on. The freedom to figure out what is it that makes you happy, right? 
the Ace of Wands comes in and says that you're about to start a brand new, powerful, creative, inspired beginning in your life because of the choices that you've made with the lover's card, because of the choices that you've made in regards to a relationship in your life, a relationship that was full of conflict. On the flip side of this five of wands, it's an increased focus on goals. So it's a dual purpose card, right? You're cutting, you're, you're, you're cutting, you, you're getting justice, cause and effect, right? You're, you're, you're receiving justice. You're about to start a brand new beginning because of choices that you've made in regards to a relationship in your life that caused a lot of conflict for you. But now you have an increased focus on goals. And there's the Eight of Pentacles. That's the, that is the card of achieving your goals, right? This is a card about um, engaging working hard on something and trying to gain mastery. You're trying to gain mastery of this newfound freedom that you have from cutting out that toxic commitment in your life. The emperor comes in and reiterates that authority, establishment, control, and structure in your life, Cancer. The ten of wands comes in and says that um, there has been an accomplishment. You have accomplished this new cycle, right? You, you, you've accomplished this. You've made good choices and, and there is light at the end of the tunnel for you, my friend. How do we know that? Because the universe says that you're about to start a new beginning and have a new journey in your life or vice versa. You're about to have a new beginning and start a new journey in your life. There you go, Cancer. That was your, um, your weekly update. Now I'm about to give my spiel. So if this, if this is where we part ways, then namaste, my friend. Okay, the spiel. Super important to watch the three um, major elements in your chart. Your sun sign, today is Cancer, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you feel. It's how you process that information. And your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you put that information back out into the world, right? So it's important to know those three signs and cross watch those not only for yourself, but if you're watching for somebody else, um, cross watch those signs in their chart as well. And it will give you a much more comprehensive view of things that are going on in the lives of um, the people you're watching for or yourself, right? It kind of fills in the holes and takes away the ambiguity of a, of a general reading, right? So watch those. It's also important to know those three elements, the rising, the sun, and the moon signs of the people that are in your life, right? Because when you understand how they receive information, how they process information, and how they communicate that information back out again, it will help you to be able to communicate with them in a way that gets the best results possible because we all communicate differently, right? So just for instance, I'm a Taurus. So if somebody communicates something to me, the first thing I'm doing is processing it as in how can this benefit me? How can I make money off of this? How does this improve my state of being? And then as a Pisces moon, I process it with a ton of emotions, right? How does this help everybody? Does it hurt anybody? Is there, is there a way that I can um, use this information to make the lives of everybody around me easier, right? And then as a Pisces rising, I spit it back out as a Pisces as well. So it comes in as a Taurus. It's mixed in, Taurus is mixed in with the Pisces, right? And I come to a decision and I spit it back out again as a Pisces mixed with Taurus, right? So if you can figure that out, it will help you to communicate with the people that are um, in your life, right? Alrighty, well, there you go. That was the spiel. If you want a personal reading from me, just for you, just for your situation, you can reach me at TaurusStartero.com and 40 bucks will hook it up for my YouTube subscribers. Namaste.